so Skylar goes to the hospital and dies. He goes on January the 5th or 6th, I believe. He dies on the 9th. Is it true, mm -hmm. did I hear this correctly, that the foster mom who had Skylar and his brother before the defendants adopted him, she filed a complaint with DFACS on December 7. So two days after Skylar died and then two days after he was first, I think twice this woman reached out, this former foster parent, to express concern about how Jody and Joe you Wilson know, were parenting Skylar uh, and his brother. You know, Kirk Nurmi, sometimes I just want to put dynamite under DFACS and blow the whole thing up. She first reported about exorcisms, which you heard Dr. Bob Larson explaining uh, about restricting food and restraining and swaddling on December 7. The boy went into convulsions on Jan 6. He died a few days later in the hospital. And defects did nothing, Kirk Nurmi. Yeah, and that's really where the problem lies because this whole tragedy would have been preventable no matter what we dress it up as alternative therapy, the food deprivation, the movement restriction, all these supports and straps and braces that were re readily found when they went into the home could easily been found if there was an intervention beforehand. During these three or four weeks between the, the initial report and the death, this mm. could probably have been prevented.